Mm -hmm. I have to say, man, the food, <laughs> especially in Nairobi, <laughs> man, I don't know. They they just put the the veggies inside. <laughs> I think I think it's just because uh, they the don't onions, show their spots. No. the onions and the, the tomatoes and the and the and and the nini, the Irish potatoes and then add water and that is it. No. <laughs> No, I won't accept the only, that. The only place in Kenya that... Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you see me for the first time, consider hitting that subscribe button. My beautiful name is Makena J. Thank you so much guys for the support that you're showing me. And today I want to bring to you the perspective of a Rwandis living in Kenya. Hey, that name is so hard to say. <laughs> Uh, so guys, I'll let him introduce himself and say why he's in our country. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to McKenna J's YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you're not. My name is Joel Mugisha. Mugisha is M-U-G-I-S-H-A. You can also check me out. I'm a YouTuber. And also kindly consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, currently, I'm in Kenya. And uh, I've been enjoying my time here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, you, you, you say that yeah, Rwandis, yeah. Rwandis is a country that I'm dreaming to go. Yeah. Hoping so because it's in East Africa, guys. Yeah. Guys, they say East Africans look alike. Do we look alike? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, the most common thing about East African <laughs> is this. The forehead. <laughs> the forehead. So if you see any 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 African outside of Africa with a forehead, probably ninety percent is from East Africa. East Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we have foreheads, but uh, it's our thing, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. our thing and God created yeah. created us like that. Yeah. You can't say no. <laughs> and guys don't say no to God's creation. Yeah, true. So show us the love. Oh. Mm -hmm. So guys I, I want to know why this guy is in our country. Why are you in our country? in the first place <laughs> um, first of all i'm a traveler mm -hmm. i like traveling kenya is part of east africa that means i can come to kenya visa free mm -hmm. so kenya is also one of the best if not the best country in east africa in terms of uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. so i i just enjoy being in kenya yeah that is why i'm in kenya and also another reason is uh I'm a YouTuber and uh, Kenya is also YouTube friendly for those people who are still aspiring and trying to grow their YouTube channels like me. So yeah, it's, a, it's, it's automatic for me to be in Kenya. Okay, welcome yeah. to Kenya Mogisha Joel. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, everything that you've said about Kenya is true. We are warm-hearted people, very yeah. friendly, very welcoming. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad you're loving your time here. Yeah, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really... How do you find, like, um, the food? The food, yeah. The Guys, first of all, this is a seat now. But we have to show where, it, where we are. Oh. Look at this, guys. <laughs> yeah, we are wow. at two rivers small, one of the biggest malls in one of the East biggest, Africa and biggest, Central biggest Africa. malls, if not the biggest malls in East and Central Africa. Yeah. Wow, this mm -hmm. is amazing. So, guys, we are yeah. coming straight out of two rivers. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's Mugisha who brought me to two rivers. I'm coming to two rivers for the first time yeah. in my life. Guys, I, I brought a Kenyan girl <laughs> on a tour in her own country. Imagine. Can you believe that? What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm showing her around. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the two rivers. Guys, yeah. to brag, I was also showing him around Nairobi yeah, true, City. True. You can go and check out yeah. that video on his YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah, we're just like touring and everything. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to know if he likes nyamachoma. <laughs> nyamachoma. Yeah, nyamachoma is roasted meat, uh, mm. grilled meat. One of the things that Kenya is yeah. known for. Yeah. So how do you find nyamachoma? Really, I don't think there is a person <laughs> on this earth unless you're vegetarian if you are we are sorry but i don't think there is any person who doesn't like nyamachoma nyamachoma is roasted meat yeah you know uh yeah i mean who doesn't man <laughs> who doesn't because i love it so much in my country we have what we call brochette 
Prochette. Are you speaking French right now? <laughs> yeah, prochette is French. It's mm -hmm. it's grilled meal meat, uh, you know. Is it the it's, same? It's grilled meat on 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 a pipe. Mm -hmm. It's 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 almost like mushkaki. Mm -hmm. You know mushkaki? Yeah. Yeah, but mushkaki in Kenya. Mushkaki is, is not the same. It's not the same as nyamachoma. That's why now. That's why I'm telling you, mushkaki in Kenya is not nyamachoma. Mm -hmm. But nyamachoma in our country, mm -hmm. they roast it the way nyamachoma is, and then they put it on that. On so that, do you uh, advise so, me if so I go there? I try. It. Yeah, you have to. Is try. it a street food? Yeah, it's a it's a street food. You can find it everywhere. And how much is actually. this? Now I can't tell uh, mm -hmm. how much it is. You know, places differ, but yes. it's it's from uh, one thousand five hundred to two thousand mm -hmm. Rwandan francs. So okay. one one shilling, mm -hmm. one Kenyan shilling is eight. Yeah. Eight Rwandan francs. Mm -hmm. So one or uh, two thousand francs is like uh, let's say like six to seven hundred. If I'm hmm. not wrong. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, when we yeah. go there, like mm. when I when we because I'll go with you, mm. like just here. Mm. When we go there, I would like to try that. Yeah. I will I will travel from Kenya all the way to Rwanda, to Rwanda. just to try. Well, you are welcome. Whatever you said. Yeah. <laughs> Also, you have to try. Uh, you have to try. You know, we have uh, when you go to a new country, always try uh, uh, street food first, yeah. and then try exotic food. Exotic food is any food that you don't find in your own country. Anything that you don't have. Okay. Like for example, you went to Uganda, right? Yeah. Did you try the peanut soup? Yeah, I did. Yeah. It, it <laughs> was, was it? really, it was really nice. It was nice. Yeah, right? I loved it. Yeah. And this also, what's the name? Mm -hmm. Of this, the chapati you put an egg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolex, R Rolex, <laughs> Ugandan Rolex. That was sweet food. Now, yeah. Yeah, it's one of the best, yeah. best things. Actually, ever. Raymond Kahuma came to Kenya to to do a, a video of mm -hmm. of him. I saw a video of him uh, doing uh, chapatis in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's one of the most famous YouTubers in in, in Uganda. East Africa. Uh, he really edits his videos. Yeah, very it's good. so very good. complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, you have to try uh, street food first and then exotic food. In mm -hmm. Rwanda we have something exotic to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. We have something we call isombe. Isombe, isombe is uh, it's greens mm -hmm. but it's cassava leaves. Oh, cassava <laughs> like the Congolese? It's cassava leaves. If you Is you it know, the same as the Congolese? You know when I came to Kenya? Leaves. I don't know if it's the same, but we have a, we have that a delicacy. Mm -hmm. But that delicacy, it's it's exotic to Kenyans, but you can find it in Rwanda, Burundi. In you can Congo. find it even in Nigeria and Ghana. They eat cassava leaves also, <laughs> but it's only in Kenya, Tanzania. I've never seen Tanzania. I in think, Kenya, we don't eat cassava. I think Tanzanians they have it. They call it kisam. If you're Tanzanian and you're in the comment section, yeah. please tell us. Yeah. You know, when I was in Uganda, I tried the, the there's a Congolese market there. Mm. They sell some very nice dresses, Congolese dresses and mm. clothing. And I went to a Congolese restaurant. Mm. I was served to gali mm. meat and cassava leaves. Yeah. You guys, you can go and watch that vlog. Did you like it? I do not like the cassava leaves. <laughs> I won't lie. They're kind of bitter. <laughs> so maybe that's, that's not the same thing as you eat. <laughs> Yeah, and also in 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 uh, in Burundi, mm -hmm. uh, Burundi they use a lot of palm oil to cook. Mm -hmm. Hey, you palm know, oil is very healthy. Yeah, very healthy. It has no cholesterol. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's the, it's only the Western influence that brought us to, to this cholesterol oil. Yeah. But palm oil is the healthiest oil that you can find anywhere. Mm -hmm. Palm oil and also you know uh, olive oil. Okay, can, so in, can we walk around as we talk? Yeah, we can. Okay, we can. guys, we it's, it's really an amazing environment yeah. not to be walking around. Maybe you can carry this. Guys, this place is just so beautiful. Yeah. So, what are you saying? I hope I'm in the frame because I'm a little <laughs> bit taller. <laughs> or I hold it, the camera for you. <laughs> no, let me just hold it. Okay. So guys, I was saying, mm -hmm. in Burundi they have palm oil and they use palm oil a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, 
that's really nice. Guys, when I go to Rwanda, maybe the Rwandis a cassava leaf is different. Yeah. And what about the cost of living? Is it more expensive in Rwanda than in Kenya or it's vice versa? I would say much 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 or less the same mm -hmm. as in Kenya. It depends on your pocket. <laughs> you oh, know, it's, I mean, it's the same. Yeah, it's, it just it's much or less the same, but that changes. it depends on the pocket. But it tends to be a little bit expensive for foreigners mm -hmm. because you don't know where to get cheap stuff. You know, oh, when you're yeah. new in a, in a country, <laughs> you're trying to be safe, number yeah. one. Mm -hmm. You're trying to be, you know, to get the best experience. Yeah. And also you're trying, you're trying your best also to find something that resonates yeah. with you, mm -hmm. make some memories. So it can be a little bit tough for you yeah, to, that's, that's, to spend. Yeah, that is something I've days. noticed. Yeah. Like, when I was in Uganda, I was even like, is Uganda really cheap? Like yeah. they said, is it really cheap like they said? And yeah. for me it was like kind of the same just, just as in Kenya. As in Kenya. So maybe it's because I don't know the spots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're new in a country, you don't. can I tell you the truth? Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, the first time I arrived in Kenya, I even bought a spoon in the supermarket. What? <laughs> Can we go down this way? Is it allowed? It's, if you go down, I think you're going to the parking lot, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. But it's okay, we can just move around here as we talk. <laughs> the sun yeah. is so nice. <laughs> yeah, very so, nice. So I bought a, a spoon in, in the supermarket. <laughs> but once I, I now go to know the country... And how, my, how much was it? It was around, uh, I think, uh, 150, mm -hmm. one spoon. Guys, like, do you know that one spoon cost only 10 Kenyan shillings? Yeah. They could have bought, like, 15, 15 of them, of them without but price. I bought one in a supermarket. <laughs> so that's why it tends to be it's very, crazy. How do I, very expensive for foreigners because you don't know the spot. Mm -hmm. But if you are traveling, mm -hmm. always find, always try to find a local. A local, yeah. To yeah. show you around, also to help you find some, some things that you want to see. I learned that the hard way now. Yeah. <laughs> the sun is sunny. Like hey guys, we've decided to sit down now. <laughs> Like this mall is so big, it's so big you can't even finish yeah, it's, it. It's so huge. Yeah, and we don't know where a camera is not allowed, so let's just sit where we are yeah. sure about it. Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to know what are some of the culture shops that you found in Kenya? Culture shop? Yeah. I think, uh, is there any culture shop in Kenya really? <laughs> just let uh, us know. The sun is sunny. The only thing I noticed, mm -hmm. I have to say this, when I came to Kenya, mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, uh, they call Kigali, Rwanda, the cleanest, uh, the cleanest country yeah. and the cleanest city in Africa. Mm -hmm. When I came to Kenya, mm -hmm. in the town CBD, it was okay. But when you get now to the, to downtown. the estates, <laughs> downtown to the estates, <laughs> It's chaos, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. really that. Yeah, is, it, is it can the be, same? It can be that. In, in, in Rwanda, it doesn't matter where you are. If you are in the village or in the city of Kigali, there is no, no, no such thing as uh, that. Here. Is it true that people can get arrested for throwing a paper? Not even throwing a paper. Throwing a ball gum and spitting it. On the, on the road. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, I hope I don't get arrested. No. Yeah, you, you cannot chew a ball gum and then spit it on the road. You have, to, you have to take it to the dustbin. So what? every 100 meter, there is a dustbin <laughs> okay. on the road. So you have to use that dustbin. <laughs> so, yeah. guys, I can't wait to go to Rwanda and see. Yeah. In terms of infrastructure... Another culture shock I just, okay. I just thought of. Mm -hmm. I have to say, man, the food. <laughs> Is it amazing? Is it bad? Okay, just let us know. Uh, the food, the food, the food, man. It's not bad in a sense, but it's not uh, cuisine or cooked in. Uh, how do I say it? Uh, you know, you know, you know. In my country, we cook. You know, we spice food. We cook it uh, in in the best way possible. So. Uh, in Kenya, especially Nairobi, mm -hmm. man, I don't know, they they just 
put the <laughs> the veggies inside. <laughs> I think I think it's just because uh, you the don't onions, know the spots. No. The onions and the, the tomatoes and the <laughs> and the and and the nini the Irish potatoes and then add water and that is it. No. <laughs> No, I won't accept the only, that. The only place in Kenya that I found genuine cooked food that is tasty mm -hmm. is Mombasa. I have to give Swahili it, food. I have to give it to them. Swahili food. Okay. Those guys they know how to cook. What did you but try? Nairobi no. What did you Nairobi. try like Swahili? You know that even the pilau in Kenya doesn't taste like the real pilau. <laughs> actually. But in, I hope in Mombasa, don't download you in, in the comment yeah, section. <laughs> but in the Mombasa, I have to give it as it is. We are. I'm just being frank. In in Nairobi, maybe you can find some spots, maybe yeah. some spots, maybe some restaurants where where you can eat genuine pilau. Yeah. But if you want to eat the real pilau anywhere from Kenya, go to Mombasa. Mombasa okay. is the best, but One thing, uh, here in Nairobi they don't know how to cook pilau. Actually. One thing, uh, pilau is a Swahili, is actually yeah. a Swahili food. Yeah. Mombasa is inhibited by the Swahili people. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of the people maybe that, maybe you go to eat in Kibandaski, like if yeah. you go to eat in Kibandaski, yeah. don't expect like yeah. the real authentic Can I, can I actually food. shock you? Like in my country we have like three types of pilau. Okay. Yeah, not what? just one. <laughs> we have a pilau, a type of pilau that I like it so much. It's called pilau sami. Mm -hmm. Pilau sami is the green. It's green pilau. Mm -hmm. It has, it has a, um, uh, what do we call it? Cassava. It has a, uh, a whole lettuce. You know lettuce? Yeah. Yeah. It has lettuce in it. It has also green peas in it, yeah. and also. Uh, the way the rice comes out, mm -hmm. it comes out uh, with a, a greenish color okay. because of those uh, those additives. So it's one of the I I, I cannot describe it. And when you go to to Burundi or Rwanda, just mm -hmm. uh, just try to, to find pilau sami. Okay. Pilau sami is uh, actually okay. I cannot yes. also own the the recipe. Because the recipe also was popularized by uh, Senegalese people in the, in the country, actually, yeah. So yeah, I can say that the, that recipe originates from Senegal. They are they actually actually if you go to to West West Africa, Nigeria and Ghana, you are always fighting about jollof. <laughs> but jollof is yeah, West Africa, you know. but but. but those people who have been to Senegal, they always say that jo Senegalese jollof is the best. The best. Okay, I'll go and try yeah. it, guys, one day yeah. when I get to Rwanda. But I would like to give him a, a little advice. Mm. Mm. Uh, when you want to eat exotic food, mm. get a person, a Kenyan, to cook for you, maybe, mm. like, special, mm. like, maybe at home. Yeah. You can eat, like, mokimo, you can eat, like, um, there's a lot of exotic foods that you can try, and yeah, do not go to train kibandaskis. Like kibandaskis, it's, it's not kibandaski, imagine. Like kibandaski. Rest big restaurants, like which one? It's it's just restaurants, <laughs> but they are the the what they call pilau is not real real pilau. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> Guys, it's, would, it's authentic restaurants. I'm actually. trying to save you Kenyans, but. <laughs> It is experience. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know that they can bring you some. Some of them, they don't even know the the difference between biryani and pilau. Some of them, you can tell them to bring you pilau. They bring you biryani. You so, um, but I if you want to try like things like that, but one thing I have to give to Kenya, <laughs> we are arguing with this guy. <laughs> yeah, listen, and he won't listen. Let me I, talk. I have, I have to give it. I have to give this to Kenya. <laughs> I've never eaten the best chapatis anywhere except in Kenya. Oh yeah. wow, that that's one nice. I can give it to Kenyans actually. What about the it? Best now? chapatis. Ugali. Even ugali, actually. Yeah. Even ugali. Because uh, our our ugali in my country it's cassava, cassava flour. Mm -hmm. So it's cooked with cassava flour. It's not maize. Okay, I think yeah. guys, we need to take him to Maasai land. I yeah. want him to also try like some Maasai meat. It's one of the best. 
oh. cooked meat that you can ever eat. It's mm. the it's so delicious. Wow. That's all I can say, guys. We can argue with this guy about food <laughs> because I think he's not toward the food enough. Yeah. Actually, that is also, his yeah, I so think far. you are you are right. <laughs> the, the same thing we were saying. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a foreigner. Maybe I don't know the best spots. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know the best places to get that authentic Kenyan cuisine. <laughs> okay, so, you know, in Kenya yeah. we have 47 tribes, and yeah. like me from Mount Kenya, I can try to steal mm -hmm. how like to cook pilau, but I'm not originally a pilau. Is it cook or cook. chef? Yeah, yeah, I'm not your, originally. Your, your, what is your cultural dish? My cultural dish is mokimo. Oh, wow. Mokimo, and there's a lot more. Hmm. We'll discuss later. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, guys, what questions, what more questions do you yeah. think I can ask him? What about the infrastructure, like in Kenya and Rwanda? How can you compare it? Um, infrastructure in, in Kenya is good. Mm -hmm. It's very good actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenya has more high-rise buildings than Rwanda has. Yeah. But uh, uh, Rwanda has uh, also the best, some of the best roads in, in Africa actually. Mm -hmm. You know, after Namibia, <laughs> then comes Rwanda. Mm -hmm. You know, one of uh, one of the one of the uh, most influencing way to maintain a road is to keep it clean, right? Yeah. So that's I think that's why Rwanda has some of the best roads because they they try to make it clean. Every every morning you can find some people sweeping the roads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can find people sweeping the roads in the morning and in the evening. So in terms of infrastructure, I have to be honest. Kenya is far ahead of Rwanda, but Rwanda is coming at you very fast. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I feel yeah. like Kenyans we can pull up when it yeah. comes to cleanliness. Yeah, I, I can't save you Kenyans because it's true. Like our streets are not the best when it comes to cleanliness. Yeah, one, yeah. one, 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 one. I saw one TikToker. It was at a funny TikTok video. They they say that if you if you if you see a drone shot of Nairobi, it looks like uh, you know a western city. It looks like New York, and uh, wait until you get on the ground. <laughs> you are reminded that you're in Africa. <laughs> so guys, uh, you have to take care of that ground. Eh? <laughs> okay. Another thing. For how long have you been in Kenya? For a while now, I have school here. I did my my college here. What? Yeah. You school here? Yeah, I did my college in Kenya actually. So I know I know Kenya quite a bit. Wow. I've, I've, I've even also been to your county. Meru County. Yeah, I've been to Meru. I've been to Moranga. Moranga. Korwene. Hey! Wow. <laughs> Hey, I've been really there nice. actually. I've been there. I've been. I've been to so many places. I've been to Asa. You're really Kilifi. a traveler. You're really a traveler. I've been to Kilifi, Mombasa, Endore, Nakuru, Kisumu, Siaya, Busia, Migori. Is it like passing through all going to no, that place going, specifically? No, going, going, going. Yeah. The only, guys, this, the only, guy, this guy is beating me in traveling. <laughs> the only thing I regret is that well, when I was traveling to those places, I was I didn't I hadn't started my YouTube channel. No. So I wish I had started. You know, <laughs> you could so be I, I could far be having away. so many so many videos oh, wow. of Kenya. It's yeah. nice to meet a person who loves <laughs> traveling. Uh, yeah. yeah, traveling is really beautiful. Yeah. So uh, in Nairobi, have you ever lost anything like your phone? Oh, my How goodness. is the security compared to? Guys, I have to say when I, when I came to Kenya, I was uh, I was also I was still new. I didn't know anything about Kenya. I remember I was coming from school with a phone, trying to listen to music, man. I was, I was, I was given character development. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, are you ready to tell us the story of how it was stolen? Kai, no, when no, people no, no. get like their phone stolen want, I don't, want, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, to give people an impression of, uh, <laughs> of Kenya is not safe. No, you can, you can have that in anywhere in the world. You just have to take you care have, of your yeah, belongings. Yeah, you have to take care of your belongings. Even in New York, they do steal and mm -hmm. snatch phones. In yeah. Italy, it's even worse. In uh, France, it can happen anywhere, you know. It's just that I was new and I didn't know the, you know, the 
the places where you should not yeah. uh, be looking like you want to donate your stuff to, to <laughs> and people. And where, where were they going? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. you don't joke with that place. Yeah. Like, places yes, like no. Isle, Kibera, yeah. downtown, like, just when you're in Kenya, just be, yeah. hey, look at this kaka. Very, very good look. Oh, look at that, guys. It looks, very nice. You say the, the London yeah. what? Looks like a London car. Okay. That's beautiful. You say that, guys. Yeah. For us, we're experiencing this in a mall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what else to ask you, but I think I've really like had a good conversation with you. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you very much for having me. Kindly remember to subscribe to our channel road to 10,000 subscribers amen yeah and guys go and subscribe to his youtube channel yeah. his name is joel mugisha yeah go and support him he has really amazing content yeah. thank you thank you so much for watching bye bye, bye.